Hey guys, I'm Akash from AMB Crypto. I cover everything related to blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And recently, I came across this brilliant gaming platform called Coco's Blockchain Expedition. It was not long ago when blockchain and gaming were seen as two distinct entities. But as the world of technology grew, these two entities converged into one to give birth to blockchain gaming. Coco's Blockchain Expedition, or Coco's BCX, is a well-known name in this movement. Coco's BCX is a platform for exchanging and managing decentralized applications in gaming technology. It also allows users to exchange digital assets via a blockchain. Pretty cool, eh? Coco's, as you all know, has been quite popular in the gaming realm and has been developing gaming engines for over a decade. They've been supported on Xbox One, on PS4 and PC, and their gaming engines have been used by giants like Ubisoft, Zynga, Big Fish and EA. They have over 1.3 million developers worldwide, taking 53% of the global mobile gaming market and 45% of the Chinese market. In 2017, Coco's entered the blockchain space with a gaming-centric view. Now, why the gaming industry and why blockchain games? Now, both these industries have been riding a wave of development with a view to transform the gaming industry from a fee-based system to an asset-based system. In the old games, everything was so limited. You had to get the same resources, build the same territory and fight the same people. Blockchain games really revolutionized the way we see gaming technology. With the introduction of blockchain technology, these games have moved to an asset-based model. Now, what does that mean to you and me? Now, this means that developers can transform the way we see these games, infusing digital assets. Thereby, we can own them, we can transfer them and exchange them through the blockchain technology. Now, what does Coco's bring to the table of uh, blockchain technology? Now, they've introduced high system response and trustable randomness to allow these games to operate seamlessly on blockchain technology. These operations have already been employed on Coco's shootings via smart contracts and happy fruit on the Coco system. So how does Coco's build on the already improving gaming world using blockchain? They provide an end-to-end -end solution for developing blockchain games, allowing more value generation for developers and a better user experience. Full stack provider for blockchain gaming and gaming economics. Creation of a game engine, a visual integrated development environment or IDE for smart contracts, interoperability layer and more. A gaming centric blockchain system and functionality with other blockchain platforms. Let's have a look at the crux of the operations behind Coco's BCX. Being a gaming veteran, Coco's boasts a game engine that can handle various blockchains, smart contracts supported by a visual IDE. Coco's BCX operates on their own blockchain, the Coco's chain, based on the graphene delegated proof of stake, allowing the protocol to amass a speedy transaction rate with a max theoretical throughput of 100,000 TPS, stress tested at 5,100 TPS with one second block intervals on testnet. Building a system of asset creation, asset trade and asset transfer between users through their native token. Native token? Yes, the Cocos BCX platform has an underlying token called the Cocos token, which has three main uses within the ecosystem. Primarily as a medium of exchange between users and the system in the form of rewards, payments and exchange as a means of voting for their internal governance of the Cocos platform. And since the platform is a DPoS platform, the Cocos token will be used for staking on the public chain. These tokens can be acquired by performing tasks as in-game rewards, through trades and by producing blocks on the Cocos chain. The Cocos project is led by Chen Hao and Richard Yang. Chen is a serial internet entrepreneur from China with over 20 years of experience in the gaming and developer community. Richard Yang is also a technology-centric entrepreneur with over 7 years of experience in the internet business and 7 years in the investment world. The rest of the team, in addition to Yang and Chen, boast a significant amount of expertise in the gaming, blockchain and development world. Coco's BCX has a host of strategic investors, including the likes of Binance Lab, 500 Startups, NGC, among others. Now that their operations have been laid out, let's have a look at their progression from the world of gaming to blockchain technology and more. 
After building the Coco's 2DX engines for the gaming world, the platform moved into blockchain in 2017. Coco's BCX white paper was released in the final quarter of 2017. Development of the Coco's BCX platform began in the first quarter of 2018 with the release of the first product demo at the Coco's developer conference. In the second quarter of 2018, Coco's launched a SDK for Loom DAP chain. Coco's BCX also partnered with Tron, Anthology, Nebulous, Hello EOS, Loom, Kingsoft Clouds, and invested into Cell Evolution. Coco's BCX had a private sale in the second quarter of the year to the cryptocurrency world's institutional investors and has stated that there are no plans to do a public sale. Coco's BCX released NHAS 1808 standard in August 2018, which is a non-homogeneous asset standard improved basing on existing NFT standards. NHAS 1808, with many of its unique features, will enable various new business models in blockchain games that can truly allow game developers more freedom and creativity on the blockchain. The final quarter of the year saw the launch of the testnet, with several games going live for testing. In March 2019, during GDC Coco's BCX, a blockchain gaming seminar co-hosted with Tron, the Coco's terminal was unveiled, a platform integrating block monitor, web wallet, game dApp store, props trading platform, among other notable features. The founder, Hausa Chen, has expressed that Coco's BCX mainnet is expected to be launched in the second quarter of 2019. Coco's BCX has integrated a props trading platform within the Coco's terminal, allowing users to exchange digital assets and tokens via a digital assets exchange within the games itself. With the digital assets exchange, their blockchain will see a host of new development tools. Now what effect will this exchange have on the future of blockchain games? Now one could say that a skin, a weapon or a race car purchased in one game could be transferred to another without any worry. A player could sell his race car in one game for Coco's tokens and buy a battle tank in another. Coco's exchange could be used to list a range of digital assets in one common pool and exchange these for other digital assets or tokens within the Coco's BCX world. Sooner or later, the gaming world will expand its ecosystem, moving on from a single game, single mission objective to one that has a range of opportunities. Thanks to Coco BCX is blockchain games. To know more about the Coco's BCX platform, please check the links to their website and social media platforms in the description.